And as I said, I do want to check in live tonight with the mayor of Port Aransas as well, Charles Bouillon, who today signed off on what they're calling a seven-day declaration of disaster. Among other things, it calls for the banning of community gatherings of more than 50 people, but it would exempt bars and restaurants, and the beaches would remain open, according to my understanding. And Mayor Bouillon joins us right now on the telephone from Port A. And Mayor, at this point, are you still encouraging people to, to visit there? I mean, spring break has been extended. Uh, of course, uh, not a problem. Our beaches are gonna stay open. What we're concerned about uh, in regard uh, to this uh, uh, pandemic is, the, uh, is being able to address the need to contain and slow down its spread. This is not about cases in New Aces County or in Port Aransas or anywhere else. Uh, what this is about is taking action to contain the virus and slow its spread throughout the city. We all know uh, that it's going to uh, be around for a while, but we can take actions that will help uh, control that, that the speed of, of the spreading. Uh, Mayor, let me ask you the same question I just uh, asked the Mayor of Corpus Christi, Joe McComb, and that is, do, do you have any complaints, as we've heard from some around the country who say, listen, we, we needed the testing sooner than we got it, we needed more cooperation than we've gotten from state and federal officials. Have you had that sort of thing happen to you? I've had, uh, of course, I've had people uh, really uh, from one spectrum to another uh, with various ideas and concerns. We have people who want us to shut the city down altogether. Uh, we have people who don't want us to shut the beaches down. Uh, we have people who would like to see us shut the bars and restaurants down. We're going to do whatever is necessary, including those if we have to, but at this point we don't see uh, where it's necessary. What we're, what we're doing now is a seven-day disaster declaration it does uh, ban uh, groups of 50 or more. Uh, it has um, the, the college students that were here are now gone uh, off of the beach. But it's not that the beach is closing, it's that we don't want the gatherings to, to be more than 50 uh, or more people. All right, well, Mayor, so, I, I hate to interrupt, but I, I do have to for time. But I appreciate you joining us live tonight, and we will check back with you to see how that is going. Sure. And hopefully we, as, as uh, Mayor McComb said, we'll get through this uh, with flying colors. We'll all be just fine after taking these precautions. We appreciate all you joining right. us. Yeah, I think we will be. I think that we all need to uh, somehow not panic if that's possible and just look at this uh, carefully and, and address the issue uh, as best we can without all of the Absolutely. Panic. It is definitely possible not to Absolutely. panic. And, and Mayor, again, thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. You bet. All right. Mayor Charles Bouillon from the city of Port Aransas tonight.